Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to World of Warcraft Hardcore Classic and our solo self-found playthrough on the Forsaken Priest. Thank you guys very much for joining me today and for clicking on the video. I do appreciate it, and I hope you are all doing well. So I trained enchanting, so we have that, we have tailoring. We also have cooking. And so for professions, we should be good to go for right now. Uh, now we just need a bunch of linen. So we can start really leveling this up, start making some greens, disenchanting those greens. And then working towards getting the lesser magic wand. I think this is going to be a priority to work on today. And so I think one of the quests we're going to do earlier rather than later is going to be the Kul Tiran quest because they have a chance to drop linen. So we want to be working on killing things right now that are going to drop linen for us. That's going to be the fastest route to getting our wand and becoming a whole heck of a lot more mana efficient. So you guys let me know that the little purple orb we saw there and us turning gray, that has to do with the two buffs, Self-Found Adventurer and the Soul of Iron. And it seems to happen like every two minutes. It's it's not really distracting, it's not really jarring, but I kind of hope they hotfix it so that the frequency of it is a little bit less. I feel like if that went off every 10 minutes, it'd probably be okay. But it's like every two minutes. Sometimes while you're like running around and you get really relaxed and your brain starts to relax, you see it go off and like your initial concern is that something has aggroed you because it looks like you're being petrified. It's a strange effect. Okay, now um, we are playing a shaman on the stream today and on that character I decided not to use any add-ons. And so I'm kind of just thinking that maybe I run that rule into this series as well. Uh, and that way I don't have to really go back and forth as much, turning them on, turning them off. The only problem is sometimes I will not notice quests without having them marked for me. So we'll, we'll just run with it as is for now. And we will kind of see how it goes. Yeah, I know there's a quest over here. There's like the quest up on the uh, the watchtower we have to grab. When I started using Questy back at the end of Season of Mastery, it was mainly to find Quest. It wasn't really to find like where the objectives were. I was typically good on like finding the objectives, but what I sometimes had problems with was noticing where Quest pickups were at. So that was one of the main reasons why I ever started using it to begin with. What do you need? Be safe. And then the other thing is without using Questy, the quests don't manually track or automatically track. You have to go in and manually track the ones that you want. So I'll track this one. And then the quest up here will track and we'll go over. We'll fight the Kaltirans. We're a little bit of a low level. And there's probably some level 6 stuff or maybe even some level 5 stuff we could do. But I kind of want to focus on doing things, like I said, that are going to give us linen right now. 
And of all the quests we have right now, like this one, the one w with the centaur camp, and maybe the razor main quest are going to be the only ones we can really get linen from. Strength and honor. And the funny thing is, we were playing the Shaman earlier on stream, uh, as of recording this, and uh, I didn't grab this quest for the uh, linen scraps, because we weren't using questing, I didn't see it, and I didn't think about it. I'm not even sure I grabbed this guy's quest on the Shaman. So yeah, without having questy going, it's very likely that I will not remember to pick up quests. We'll see how it goes. Now, I don't know if I'm going to go after Lieutenant Benedict. I don't know if I really want to go into the keep at this level. That might be a little bit too risky. We might just farm up the kills on the outside for now. And my, my big goal is to really get tailoring going. It would just be nice to be progressing a quest or so while we're doing that. Yeah, these guys are level 5 to level 6, I think, so we should be okay. As long as we're careful. That was a really tough resist. Yeah, it's... Low-level priests can get pretty rough because you're either spamming smite and you're running out of mana, or you're trying to be efficient and you're trying to melee stuff down with uh, Shadow Word Pain. It gets very, very good. Much better the moment you get a wand. So that, that has now become my top priority. We need to get the Lesser Magic Wand ASAP.
I wonder if it's even worth it to even bother with Shadowward Pain. Or if we would really be better off just spamming Smite. And then drinking every few pulls might be better. Let's try it that way. I, I worry that we're not really getting everything out of Shadowward Pain, and so it might be kind of a waste of mana. At this level, at least. Whereas when we have the Wand, if we can Shadow Word Pain and then Wand, that's a lot more like a cumulative damage over time. So it always feels better then, but while we're we, like meleeing is really just not really viable for us. We're, we're not a Shaman. And yeah, even if like maybe we do it like at this amount, like below 25% maybe. But even then it takes a long time to get them down. That was a nice shield bash she did. Locked us out of all of our holy abilities. That could potentially be deadly depending on what's going on when he does it. As it is, he did a number on us. Just with that one interrupt. We'll have to be careful about pulling these guys. Maybe we try to avoid the marines. Once we have them capped out for the quest, maybe we try to avoid them. And focus on the guys that don't have shields. Alright, see now this situation here, like we don't have mana, so I kind of feel like to be safe this is like a runaway type of situation. We could stay in here and fight, but it would be risky, so yeah, choosing to run away there was probably the best option. This guy's having the same kind of moment. Yeah, he, he just leashed a couple himself.
I have to be honest, this is not as lucrative of a linen farm as I really wanted it to be. Yeah, we've only got seven linen out of this whole deal. Um, I'm kind of wondering if maybe it's worth it to peel out of here for now. Head down to Senjin, get the centaur quest. And maybe see if the centaur have a higher chance of dropping the linen because this is really not going to do it. We need like 40 or 50 more linen, I'm pretty sure. Before we can make what we need to, dis to disenchant what we need to get the lesser magic wand. And as you can see, until we do that, like life is going to be pretty challenging for us. The good thing is, like, we can kill things just fine. Like, killing stuff is not hard. You know? It, it just takes all of our mana to do it. And the only really big problem with that besides downtime is that if we accidentally pull something unexpectedly and we're burning all of our mana on every fight, then, yeah, it leaves us in a pretty precarious situation. Or at least it could. I'm thinking maybe while we're here though, maybe we try to do this quest. We, we've got to get one more Marine and then Lieutenant Benedict. We'll see if maybe the way is clear. I've seen a couple players in the same area, so well, it's not clear there is someone at the front. Let's fight our way in. Let's try to work on this one. If we go like slowly at it and we're careful, it'll be fine. And we'll see how much linen we get at the end of this one. And yeah, that's three of them. We gotta, we gotta run. That is a bad, bad look. Oh, we got four of them. That's really bad. Let's put Powered Shield back up. And let's try not to aggro any more on the way out here. Yeah, I, I'm having really big, really big second thoughts about that plan. That was probably not a great plan. They can smell the low level on us and uh, they came running. So yeah, let's let's forget about that for the time being. The only issue is I have a feeling that the centaur are like around the same level as these guys. Uh, there might be less mob density down where the centaur are at. That could be the case. So we'll go find out. We'll go grab the quest and we'll take a look.
what you want. All right, here are the centaur attack plans. Let's grab everything, even though we might not do it all right now. Some of it we're going to have to wait on. But we'll grab everything here to get it into the quest log. Hello, man. Later. Okie dokie. See ya later. How you do it, man? And let's see about vendoring our stuff. Relax. Bye bye now. We will turn the linen that we do have into bolts. And uh yeah. We'll just keep holding on to them for a little bit until we can uh make a substantial amount or until we start to fill up too much of our inventory. I'm assuming these can stack to at least 10. Yeah, 10. That's as high as they can stack. So yeah, it might actually be better to leave it as linen. Realistically, that would be the smarter move, which uh, stacks to 20 if we're concerned about inventory space. Yeah, see, he's level 6, so they're basically the same level as the humans. The density might not be as bad. And then again, it could be. We, we don't have to go into any interior areas to do the quest. Ah, uh, dude, okay. It doesn't seem like the drop rate for Linen is going to be much better either. Don't really want to fight that Scorpid. Well, that was a mistake. I can't run in and melee her because she is near another guy. Let's pull her out a little bit. Regen some mana and try again. Oh, we definitely don't want her running all over the place back here. Ah, uh, this is a rare spawn. Okay, okay. Let's at least get all of our mana back. This guy might demolish us. I've never seen him before. I'm hoping he doesn't pull the guy over here to his left.
Yeah, it was probably too close. But look, he dropped a piece of linen. Yay. Pretty sure that's the first piece of linen that we've seen drop off of the centaur at all. So that's good. Infantry leggings of the tiger, we aren't worried about. Oh, you know what? That, that is good. I need to get into this mindset. That is really good. Because it means we can disenchant. Look at that. Okay. Now we're talking. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. We're going to have to let him figure it out because we really can't afford to go chasing him all over the place. Let's pull him over here so we can die slowly. At least we're finding a lot of healing pots. I appreciate that. This guy's got aggro. I 
Don't know if maybe that lets us sneak in here and take out this guy or not. We could try it. We don't have a lot of mana, so maybe that was a dumb idea. Yeah, let's pull him back out this way. Regenerate a little bit of mana while we do so. And there we go, that quest is done. Uh, we came out of it with a little bit more linen. Not nearly as much as I'd like to have, but it'll have to do. So, level 8, I am assuming that we can find our class trainer back in Razor Hill. Uh, there's a mage trainer here in Senjin. A witch doctor in training, I don't know what that means. They're not going to help us with priest spells. Yeah, I don't think there's a priest trainer here, just a mage trainer. Everybody else should really be back in I say that, but then again, like, trolls are the race that can be priests. So, like, how sure am I that there's not a priest trainer here? I'm not very sure. I'm not very sure whether or not there is. I think I've looked at most of the NPCs, and I haven't seen a priest trainer. Nobody in here. You're an alchemist. You're an herbalist. Yeah, I think we are we are good. Let's head back to Razor Hill and have a look around there for a class trainer.
strength and honor. For the horde! Now the quest we did complete for the linen scraps, that's going to award a four slot bag. So let's go turn that one in right away. And yeah, here's our priest trainer. Talk to me. So let's see. Level 8, we get renew and fade. Not a really big level for us. Bye bye now. Uh, renew will be nice to have. Fade is only useful in a group, so we're not really going to be using fade. It only reduces your aggro when, like, on the aggro chain compared to other players. So. Uh, but yeah, Renew will be nice. You know, when we take a couple hits, we can pop it, we can pop Power and Shield, and we can regen our HP. It's not a bad one. Alright guys, I'll tell you what, I'm going to take a break right here for today. I think next time we will work a little bit around Senjin Village. We ha have a couple of low-level quests to do. Uh, and then we'll head back over to Tears Fall Glades. I feel like Tears Fall Glades... As far as like farming up linen has probably one of the best spots for it. The little farm where the tailor trainer's at. Uh, it seems like a really good place to farm linen. So we might do a little bit around Senjin. And then like I feel like I just have to get back though. You know I feel like maybe maybe I should prioritize this. Let's do that. I'm going to hearth us back to the, to the gallows end. And we just really need to prioritize getting our tailoring up so we can get that wand. So I'm going to try to make that the focus. Uh, at least for next time and see how much progress we can make thank you guys very much for joining me today i really do appreciate all the support on the series if you are digging the content leaving a like subbing to the channel that stuff helps me out a lot and i appreciate those that do until next time take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other and we'll see you back here again very soon bye for now